So one of the last things that I've been trying to automate in my smart home is the blinds. This has been a bit of a killer because the vertical blinds in my apartment um, use a wand as opposed to a cord. There's loads of options out there from loads of different manufacturers that let you power uh, blind cords, but not so much the wands. And unfortunately, I couldn't even get replacement parts to put a cord on the blind. Um, and because it pulls back and forth, this wouldn't have worked anyway. So I've been waiting for something that would work on for blind wands. And finally, after waiting for years and years and years and supporting them on Indiegogo, I have finally got this, the Sunsa blind wand, which is Wi-Fi and herself, the voice assistant compatible. So I have actually been waiting for this for a very, very long time. And I managed to get this shipped over from the States because they don't currently do it internationally. But the idea behind this is that this is a smart blind wand that will automate the opening and closing of my vertical blinds. So let's take a look. So a couple of caveats before we start. As I mentioned, this is not officially available internationally yet. So I had to do a couple of workarounds to get the app working um, on my phone because it's only in the US store. The blind itself does not ship internationally. So I had to send it to a PO box and get it sent over here, which led me to the first problem. Um, it got hell of a lot of jostling when it was being shipped. And unfortunately, when the blind motor or the blind wand arrived, it wasn't working. Now, thankfully it was something simple. It ended up being just a loose connection where the batteries make contact with the PCB inside. So I was able to fix it, um, but I was a little bit disappointed on the construction as a whole. Um, it's quite basic, but I'll talk about that again at the end. Um, and I actually had to get a pliers to open up the little screw bottom to put the batteries in um, because whatever way it was wedged on, um, I could not get it off with just my bare hands. So I'm gonna chalk those issues up to the, for the moment on the shipping and the fact that I had it sent from the States and probably the couriers weren't that careful with it um, because I have got it all working now and it is doing as expected. So since I first came across them, I think almost three years ago when they were teasing this product um, and they had a fund me campaign, a GoFundMe or an Indiegogo. Um, and I very, very quickly jumped on it because this was something that I really wanted to get um, for my blinds at home. Because as I said, I couldn't use any other kind of motorized system um, and the blind one, se blind one seemed to be the way to go. It has been a long road since then, but I finally got this one and the installation was not quite as simple as they had made it out to be. So the instructions in it were virtually non-existent and quite difficult to follow if I'm being honest. Um, even when I'm going through the app and using the instructions through the app, it was a little bit confusing as to how this all worked. And it took me a little bit to figure out that not only did I have to clip the blind wand on itself, but I also had to get a little bracket to keep the wand itself in place as the motor turned. Um, so this has been a little bit fiddly because the uh, 3M sticky stuff that's supposed to to keep this bracket in place onto my uh, blind rail keeps coming off and whenever this happens the blind one just keeps spinning and nothing opens or closes so I'm gonna have to kind of jimmy this a little bit or MacGyver it to get it to stay. So this was the first thing that kind of caught my attention because I have seen motorized blind ones before that haven't needed this bracket. They've just got a little gyro in them so that when you trigger them they spin and they turn your blinds open and close whereas this one the mechanism is fixed in place and the little motor just turns which begs the question question why does it need to be a wand shape then? Because you could have any other kind of shape with a motor built inside that would do exactly the same thing. The bad thing about this design is that this means that you can't actually turn the wand itself to manually open and close the blinds. It must be done through the app because turning the blind wand itself will actually disconnect it from the little bracket. So this is a huge design flaw as far as I'm concerned. When I ordered this, my thinking or my my brain was kind of going, I can automate this, I can set schedules, I can use my voice to open and close the blinds, but I can also, if I want, just go over and turn it. But no, you can't um, because it's kind of fixed in place. Now I can still use the wand itself to pull open and close um, horizontally the blinds themselves, but this seems like a bit of a wasted opportunity. Um, and it means that if for any reason the battery goes or somebody doesn't know and walks over, if they start turning the wand, it's basically gonna detach it from the top 
top section um, and it will close but I'm gonna have to reattach the bracket again afterwards so not a huge fan of this having said that when it's up and running and I had my schedules set up I loved it it did exactly what it said on the tin first thing in the morning at a certain time it opened them um, to the right about 50% and then about an hour later it opened them fully you have the option of opening and closing to the left or to the right you can set various different degrees of opening and closing you can set various different schedules so from a practicality and a usability standpoint um, it does what it's supposed to do um, it opens and closes the blinds it rotates them to whatever way I want and it's fairly fairly straightforward so I am liking this having said that the inability to do it manually for me is a bit of a downside particularly if somebody doesn't realize and goes over and tries to do it the second major downside is that the app itself is only supporting US times so I had to do a little bit of math and a little bit of changing when daylight savings time changed so that my routines would stick to where when I wanted them to um, this was a minor setback but it would be nice if they updated the app so that it worked um, for all time zones I know as I said they're not shipping internationally yet so this is a it is not a really a complaint um, but when they do ship internationally I'm sure this will be resolved so there is also in the side of the wand a little light sensor and it tells you the app can tell you the temperature um, and I presume at some point they're going to update the app so that you're going to be able to do automations based on the amount of light um, at this stage though it isn't capable in the app but I presume that's the reason for having this light sensor there's also an ability to plug in some Something on the side there's a little uh, power jack so I would again presume that the intention is to have some sort of um, solar panel that's going to be able to keep this powered even if the batteries go the catch I can kind of see here though is that unless the solar panel is small and can clip onto the wand itself um, if I try and pull the blinds over and the solar panel is attached to the window that's not going to work for me um, so again I'm kind of thinking about the downsides first and foremost um, because I've been looking forward to this for so long when it arrived it kind of fell slightly short of my expectations again because this is only available in the US the herself Excess skill is only available in the US as well and because my account is on .co.uk I can't actually use the uh, voice assistant skill to open and close the blinds um, with the voice assistant yet I've already contacted Sunsa about this and it's something they're looking into um, so thank you uh, the guys from Sunsa who replied I really really appreciate it um, and hopefully this will be resolved so it does mean that I got to use my phone or set up the time scheduled routines in order to open and close the blinds at at all so this is a little bit disappointing but I could again I completely understand and I'm taking full responsibility for the fact that I'm having this product shipped to a region that's not currently supported I suppose the thing for me is this was around about 90 euro and um, plus all the shipping involved and comparing that to something like the Switchbot blind motors which are much much better build quality they've really thought them through um, they've thought about the solar panel to, to keep it running they've thought about um, being able to charge it being able to adjust it for different types uh, of rails and whatever else the cost of this seems that little bit high particularly since really all it is is a metal tube that you put four batteries into with a little PCB that connects to Wi-Fi and a motor so it's been a long time coming for this product and I think I was kind of expecting a little bit more having said that my question to myself is what more was I expecting from a blind wand but this just seems to be a little bit underdeveloped and um, when you have something like SwitchBot who have these amazing blind motors obviously they're not going to work for my particular instance of using a wand so I'm hoping the next version or the future versions of this Sunsa one are going to take those things into consideration um, and maybe up the game a little bit now all of this to say I actually really really love them um, when they're up and running so when the blind wand is doing its thing and it's running its schedules I love having the blinds automated I think my main hesitation here is that the cost of what it is and the inability to do things manually is really really a letdown from my perspective but having said that again what was I expecting it's a blind wand I suppose my experience has been kind of colored by the fact that I have seen RFID versions like this before that don't have some of these limitations and drawbacks um, and this was so long coming I thought they would have kind of factored all those things in and um, by the time it came to market um, and they haven't um, so this is a little bit disappointing 
If you are considering ordering these, as I mentioned, they're only available in the continental United States at the moment, and they are still in pre-order. So I got this as part of a funding campaign, um, and they're still working their way through the shipping and the orders. So don't expect if you do order this to get it anytime soon. If you do though, they're quite cool. I like it. Uh, I really, really do. In spite of all the kind of caveats that I've said before, I really do enjoy the fact that I don't have to think about opening my blinds in the morning, um, and it just kind of does it and it also brings that little bit of light and gets me up that little bit quicker and um, because this is kind of doing it even when I'm still kind of waking up um, so it's a really really good idea I just think it needs that little bit more push um, to get it more refined more well thought out um, and definitely more compatible and more um, kind of usable for more use cases so Sunsa I really really appreciate you know you making the effort of doing this um, hopefully you kind of take these things into consideration for the next version um, and for the software updates to kind of give it that more flexibility and functionality and I am actually gonna buy two more of these um, for the other two blinds in my apartment I only bought the one just to see what it was like um, and I do like what it does unless I find something else in the meantime that kind of does the same job or I can rig up a little bit a little motor myself that will do the same job um, watch this space um, but I'll leave a link to the Sunsa Homes website below so folks I hope you found this useful and if you do have um, wand blinds and um, please do check out Sunsa Homes and hopefully they will be shipping internationally in the near future if you have any questions about this or anything else I featured on the channel please do feel free to hit me up in the comments below you're free to follow me on any of the social medias but if you want to contact me the comments below the videos is the best place because I try and reply to as many of those as humanly possible and I would super appreciate it if you gave this video a like it tells other people that this video is useful and boosts it up in the YouTube algorithm so that they might see it and as ever I would amazingly appreciate a subscribe to the channel it doesn't cost you anything but really really does help me out making more of these so that's it for this week folks hope you found this useful all that's left to say is bye bye for now